Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and today I'd like to uh, show you how to create this uh, multiple um, image effect, uh, something I call multiplicity. Okay, so here is the after image and if I just come over to my history panel, uh, this is the starting image. So I'll walk you through this, it shouldn't uh, take uh, too long. Okay, so first of all we're going to unlock the background layer. I'm going to hold uh, my command key down, that's control key on a PC and click on the new layer icon. This will add the new layer below the active layer rather than above. I'm going to come up to my edit menu and choose fill and uh, I'm going to choose 50% grey as the contents at 100% opacity and then select OK. Okay, so I'm going to select the um, layer zero here, which was formerly the background layer, and I'm going to duplicate this a number of times, in fact, four in all. Okay, I was just using the keyboard uh, shortcut there, Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. I'm going to switch off the visibility of that top copy there. I'm going to select the copy below, uh, hold down the Shift key, and then select the uh, layer zero there. So all three of these layers are selected. I'm going to drop the opacity down to 80% and set the blend mode to soft light. Okay. Now what we're going to do is let's just uh, select uh, one of these layers. I'll start with the, the first copy there. I'm going to select the Move tool and then I'm just going to move this out of alignment. Now how far you move that is obviously depending on the subject matter that you're working with here. I'll then select the, uh, the Copy 2 and again with the Move tool uh, just pull that away. If you're finding this is misbehaving itself for whatever reason it's selecting random layers just make sure you have your auto select option um, switched off in the options bar there so we can actually decide which layer that we want to move at any time. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, bring in um, a levels adjustment. Okay, the contrast has dropped ever so slightly so I'm just going to restore that uh, contrast by just pulling in um, the black point and the white point until it meets the beginning of the histogram there. Okay, and that should uh, restore the uh, the vitality and uh, contrast to that image. Okay, with this uh, top image, obviously the top image um, uh, shows the image without the multiplication effect. And what we can do is I can uh, hold down the Option key or the Alt key on a PC and click on that Add Layer Map icon. This basically hides all of this layer. Now if I do want to restore any of the image area, i.e. without the multiplication effect, I'm just going to select the brush tool, set white as the foreground color. I'm working with 100% and I've got my brush set to 0% hardness here. And then if I want to restore some of the fine detail in the um, center of the image, Maybe that's a building over there. Uh, this is something that I have that option to do. Okay, so we're going to do um, a little bit of a crop. I'm not really happy with the edges here. So we're just going to come into the crop tool. I've set the width and height resolution, but I don't have any um, values entered in here. If you do have some values, just hit the clear button there. And then this gives us option just to um, trim that image so we don't see those edges um, at the top and uh, bottom there. And then I'll commit that crop. Okay, just to finish this off, I'm just going to add a little bit of an arty texture here. So uh, we're just going to come to the File menu and hit uh, Place Embedded. Okay, and I'm going to come over to one of my stock uh, texture images here. Uh, it's a crumpled piece of paper and I'll hit Place. I'm just going to stretch this out just so it fits the canvas size and uh, commit uh, that resizing there and I'll set the blend mode of this one also to soft light and that completes the project. Uh, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed that little uh, three minute effect there and uh, give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you online next time. Yeah.